Hello lovely people, my name's Joe. I'm here on DrinksTube today. I'm gonna to be showing you my favorite summer cocktail, Le Grand Fizz. And best of all, I'm gonna show you how to make it four different ways. So if you wanna play around with different flavors, this is how you do it. It's an effortless way of extending one of the classic cocktails, vodka soda, which is everybody's used to having, but here's how you kind of bring it to the next level. So first off, we're gonna take a wine glass here and fill it with lots and lots of fresh ice. Ice is usually important in any cocktail, but it's vital in a summer cocktail because you're outside, you know, early evening, watching the sun come down. You wanna make sure you've got lots of ice. Next, our base is gonna be the lovely Grey Goose vodka, made from French wheat from an area called Picardy in the north of France, 45 mil. This is gonna give subtle sweet notes, a little bit of almond, a little bit of citrus. Next, we're gonna add in a tiny bit of sweetness, and this comes from a French elderflower liqueur called Saint-Germain. 20 mil of our Saint-Germain elderflower liqueur. We wanna cut through all that sweetness with a little bit of citrus, so give our limes a fresh roll, nice three little wedges, and just take two wedges, squeeze them directly over the drink. What's great about that is you not only get all the beautiful citrus juice, but you get the, the essential oils that hide on the outside of the lime. We're gonna top it off with some soda water, and the soda just brings all those ingredients together and makes for a signature kind of effervescence for the cocktail. Last but not least, we're gonna take a pick, skewer that third wedge of lime, and you just use that to stir the drink slightly, and give it a nice little flow. And that, my friends, looks delicious. I'm gonna give it a try. Absolutely beautiful. You get all that nice balance of the citrus, a little bit of the elderflower sneaking through. Grey Goose as a base is perfect for this cocktail because it's slightly sweet, but also gives it a real elegance to the cocktail. Unbelievable. That's the original classic, but let me show you how you can take this even further with some flavored vodkas. So the great thing with this is all the twists are built on the exact same kind of ratio as the original. So we're gonna fill our wine glass with ice. This time we're gonna do 45 ml of our Grey Goose de Citron, which is a lemon flavored vodka from the south of France. 20 ml of our beautiful elderflower liqueur. Because we've got a lemon vodka as a base, I'm gonna take two wedges of our lemons, squeeze those directly in, Top it off with some effervescent soda water. Always give it a little bit of a stir just to mix the ingredients and we garnish it off with a fresh lemon wedge just on top so you can smell. Oh, that's beautiful. It's, you know, the exact same recipe but actually using a lemon vodka really changes it and so does the fruit. And the great thing is you can do the exact same thing with Grey Goose L'Orange and some oranges or Grey Goose Le Poire and pear slices. So you can really try your way around all the flavored vodkas. So there you have it. This is a great way of just using flavored vodka to kind of open up your palate and try out some new things, but also keeping it quite simple. A um, really great way of playing around with some flavors. And actually, if you like this drink, you need to see Jamie making the original Le Fizz, which is a great alternative to champagne. Also, don't forget to subscribe to DrinksTube. It's where you learn all about the wonderful world of drinks. Cheers. Cheers.